Never underestimate the power of Mezcal. So I guess this is how they get paid when they leave. I could be wrong, but who knows. I think you can tell by the fact that I've been emotional in this video that um, I don't, I don't want to leave. amigos and welcome back to Mexico. Today is Tuesday June the 4th and I have left San Luis Potosí after having the most amazing time there in that spectacular city once again. I've jumped on a bus and I've come about three hours to the west to another glorious city in Mexico called Zacatecas. I'm so excited to be here because Zacatecas is just another perfect example of a city in Mexico that is full of architecture, full of food, full of history and full of amazing things to do. And in many ways it feels like San Luis in terms of the fact that it is lesser known in terms of tourism. This video is the first part of a four part series in Zacatecas where I show you various aspects of this city. We're going to be looking at the central area as always in terms of food, in terms of drink, in terms of amazing architecture. We're going to be going up in the world, so we're going to be going up El Bufa and coming down the Teleferico. Amazing. We're going to be going underground into the mines, so Zacatecas is well known for silver, gold, onyx and quartz mining. And additionally, we're going to be going to one final magic town, yes, one final, because Zacatecas is my penultimate destination in Mexico before I head off to Canada. But before we get going, why don't we take a quick look around Zacatecas. Let's go. As you can see, Zacatecas is beautiful. We're gonna be checking out some of those areas that you've just seen in future videos. Today, I'm right near my accommodation, which is just up there. The jacket's off, mucho color. However, the one great thing about Zacatecas that you should know is that it is nowhere near as hot as somewhere like San Luis. Today, we are going up in the world. As I said, we're going up La Bufa Hill. We'll be coming down the Teleferico, which is a cable car. If you've seen previous videos from Taxco and a Catepec in Mexico State, you'll know that I love Telefonicos because they give such an amazing view of the city. So, uh, I'm out of breath already. Let's get going. I've walked up this extremely steep hill, coming up that way from my accommodation. And just look at this, I'm nowhere near the top of La Bufa yet, but if this isn't one of the wonders of Mexico, I'm adding it to the list, right? <laughs> it's stunning. You know, it reminds me a lot of Guanajuato when you go up that hill, um, El Pipil, I think it was called. So, you know, you've got churches in the distance. I walked up there the other day. That's where I'm staying, down there. And over there, you've got El Grillo, I believe, which is the other big hill. 
And there's an interesting story about that, which I'm going to tell you when I get up there. And over there, of course, you can see the Teleferico. And I've noticed as I come up a bit further, right in the centre of the screen, there's an aqueduct or a viaduct. I drove through that on the way to my accommodation from the bus station. And in the distance, I don't know if you can see, it's something I've never seen in Mexico before. There's a wind farm up there. You know, renewable energy, go Mexico. Right, apologies for the fact that I am out of breath. But on the subject of things that I've never seen in Mexico before, along with wind farms, I just went to sit down for a breather. What was next to me? A big snake. I've never seen a snake in Mexico before. I've seen them in Australia, places like that, and I've seen warning signs like at um, Peña de Bernal for snakes. But that was my first snake. Unfortunately, as anyone will know, with snakes, it quickly escapes into the grass, so there's no way of me getting on camera. Unless it reappears, where is the snake? Ooh, exciting. I've reached the top of Cerro El Bufa, Bufa Hill. Sorry about the pronunciation there. Just look at this stunning view. This is quite possibly one of the most amazing views I've seen ever. You can see so far into the distance, you've got the other hill, as I said, over there. And I saw a moment ago, there was a big long train, one of those big freighter trains going through the city, which I can hear every night when I go to bed. You know, you've got these buildings going off up, up, up the hills. This is stunning. And behind me up here, as well as cacti galore, you've got this, what I would describe as a minor monolith. You can't see it very well, I don't think, because the lighting is in the wrong direction, but over the rock, there's like a green, greeny gray tinge, which is interesting. I'm not sure what that is. But if I take a closer look at the rock that's right next to me, it looks like, a, like some sort of green fungi or something, or some, something that grows on the rock. It almost feels like paint. I'm sure it's not paint, but you know. Interesting. This is um, Geology 101, apparently. Now that I'm at the top of this hill, there's a couple of interesting points about it. So La Bufa, apparently the Spanish named it that because it means comical in Spanish due to the shape of the hill. I can't quite see what is comical about it, but I'm sure there was a reason for it. And secondly, thank you to Sonia, one of my subscribers, and also she's an Instagram follower as well. She gave me some really awesome information in terms of in the Mexican Revolution, this hill and the other one, El Grillo, the Mexican and Spanish used to fire cannons between the hills during the battle. And that kind of information is awesome because it's the sort of thing that you only hear from locals. It's not the sort of thing that you can read on Wikipedia. You know, local legend, Sonia is from Zacatecas. So um, thank you, Sonia. Great information. We're saying goodbye to that wonderful view behind me. Just look at that, it's amazing. We're about to see it some more because we're going up, down, in the Teleferico. I said earlier I love Telefericos because they give such an amazing view of cities. I've been to so many in the past, as well as the ones I mentioned, I've been to one in Medellin, Colombia. And there's something special and unique about this one. So one of the cable cars, I think there's seven of them maybe. The number seven one, I believe, has a glass bottom. So I'm gonna see if I can get that one, but it won't be a disaster if I can't. And it costs 100 pesos. Just an addendum to that in terms of the price. I have paid 120 pesos for the Cabina de Cristal, which is the glass bottom um, thingy, cable car. Exciting, let's go. Da -da, beep, beep. Um, I just missed the number seven, the glass bottom one, by literally a second. So I'm just waiting for them to go round again to come back up the top. Oh, here's number five, not quite yet. So um, yeah, nice leisurely, just watching the cable cars come up and people get off. It's quite quiet, um, you know, it, right now it's Tuesday afternoon, so you know, it's not gonna be a particularly busy time like the weekend, but um, you know, I've got, this, I've got the glass bottom one to myself. How exciting is that? You know, this takes Telefericos to another level, you know, Medellin, Taxco, Catepec, boom.
at the glass bottom, this is amazing. What sort of place can you go to where you can get on a Telefonico? <laughs> Look! Glass bottom, amazing. I don't even have words right now. And just look at the stunning view, all these colourful buildings. Another cable car going past. Look at that. Hello Zacatecas. I love some of these buildings here, like the bright pink ones, the green ones, the bright yellow ones. Stunning. Right, we're back down in the centre area. Apologies for the camera angle and possibly screaming children in the background. I'm trying to get them to move away subtly. Um, if you saw my Instagram stories while I was filming this, you'll know that I had numerous problems, technical problems with my stabiliser. So that's why we're a bit shaky and why we're at this angle at the moment. But, um, you know, I've had a really good day today, despite that. You know, um, normally when I come to a, a city, and I have been here for a week, but, you know, in terms of exploring, I will normally walk around the centre area extensively first. And I think I did that in San Luis and, and other places. But, you know, this first video, the reason I wanted to post this one first is because going up in a Teleferico is an awesome way of getting a great overview of a city. And what better way to do it than going up in a, up in a Teleferico? You know, this one, I must say, it was quite short in terms of duration. So you do have to kind of rush to take photos, but also, you know, take that time to stop taking photos and actually look around and, and you know, see what you're looking at and take it in. You know, that glass bottom was amazing. Um, you know, it's good job that I'm not scared of heights. Um, if you are, you know, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing it. It's not that high up, but you know, it's okay. Um, so that's this first video from Zacatecas Done. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see the future videos and hit the notification bell as well. The next one will be from the central area. Like I said, we're going to go to the mines and also to a magic town. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go home now and I will catch you later.